Barry Campbell is pleased to announce a rare exhibition of paintings and sculpture by Ida Kohlmeyer from the late 1960s. While known for her unique hieroglyphic painting and sculpture from her later career, Kohlmeyer's work in Barry Campbell's current exhibition introduces an organic geometry recalling the work of Georgia O'Keeffe, Agnes Pelton, and Hilma F. Clint. This is Barry Campbell's first exhibition of Ida Kohlmeyer since the announcement of the representation of her estate in 2019. Ida Kohlmeyer received her bachelor's in English in 1933 from Tulane University's Newcomb College. She subsequently studied art, enrolling in John McCready's art classes in the French Quarter. She then returned to Newcomb under the influence of abstract expressionist painter Patrick Turvino. At this time, Muriel Boltman Francis, the generous patroness of the arts in New Orleans, was inviting abstract expressionist painters to come to New York to teach. Among them, Clifford Still took an interest in Kohlmeyer's work and recommended that she continue her training under Hans Hoffman in Provincetown. Kohlmeyer completed her master's degree in fine arts in 1954, and in 1956 she arrived in Provincetown, where she studied with Hans Hoffman. In writing about Hoffman, she says, He jolted me out of any complacency I might have felt about my work. She cast aside the carefully constructed figural compositions she had been creating and adopted an abstract expressionist vocabulary of gestural marks and surface tensions in the manner of her teacher Hans Hoffman. Following her time in Provincetown, Ida Kohlmeyer went to New York City where she met Arshil Gorky and Mark Rothko. She said of Rothko's paintings after she saw them in 1957, I shall never forget the overwhelming, almost spiritual reaction I had to them. Later, when Mark Rothko moved his family to New Orleans to teach at Newcomb College, Kohlmeyer was already a professor there, and she arranged for him to rent her family's house and use her garage as his studio. The two got to know each other, and he became a very important mentor to her. Ida Kohlmeyer began showing her work in 1959, and in 1961 she was included in an exhibition curated by the noted art critic Clement Greenberg that was held at the Oklahoma Art Center in Oklahoma City. In 1960, her work was featured in solo shows at Ruth White Gallery in New York City and also in Washington, D.C. In the mid-1960s, Ida Kohlmeyer developed a style strongly influenced by the art of Mark Rothko, consisting of large, floating, elliptical shapes with a softened edge. Gradually, she allowed gestural movement to emerge, enabling her to go beyond the classical to achieve a freer mood. Kohlmeyer drew on non-Western art influences as well. She felt like this was a more direct approach to the art. In the late 1960s, she developed a new mode in which organic forms are contained within geometric frameworks. These works from 1968 to 1969 to 1970 have titles relating to their undulated geometric forms like arrowed and cloistered. They are suggestive of works by Agnes Pelton and Georgia O'Keeffe, but their depth and movement reflect Hoffman's continued inspiration. The geometric shapes are reminiscent of Hilma F. Clint. In addition to two-dimensional paintings, Ida Kohlmeyer created shape sculptures made out of wood or plexiglass with painted patterns on the canvas surface. In the following years, she had solo exhibitions at many museums, including the Columbus Museum in Georgia, the Fort Wayne Museum in Indiana, the Greenville County Museum in South Carolina, and the High Museum in Atlanta. 
During the 1990s, Kohlmeier was represented in several exhibitions that acknowledge her place in the art of her time. In 1990 and 91, she was included in Four Century of Women's Art, organized by the National Museum of Women in the Arts, which traveled throughout Japan. In 1992, she was featured in a three-person show entitled The Feminine Perspective with Linda Banglis and Clyde Connell that was held at the Messier Museum, Monroe, Louisiana. In the same year, she was included in The Feminine Perspective at the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts in Alabama. Over the course of her long career, Kohlmeier sought to channel her innate proclivity toward spontaneity, even exuberance, with her need for a sense of structured containment that was not yet overly confining. She continued to work with zest and devotion until the end of her life. Ida Kohlmeier is represented in many public and private collections, including the Addison Gallery of American Art at Phillips Academy, the Birmingham Museum of Art, Birmingham, Alabama, the Brooklyn Museum of Art, the Cheekwood Estate and Gardens in Nashville, Tennessee, Columbia Museum of Art in South Carolina, the Columbus Museum of Art in Georgia, the Columbus Museum of Art in Ohio, the Greenville County Museum in South Carolina, the High Museum of Art in Atlanta, Georgia, the Jewish Museum, New York, the Johnson Collection in Spartanburg, South Carolina, the Katzen Art Center, American University, the McNay Museum in San Antonio, the Memorial Art Gallery in Rochester, New York, the Metropolitan Museum in New York, the Mint Museum in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston, the Newcomb Art Gallery in Tulane University, the National Museum of Women in the Arts, the New Orleans Museum of Art, Palm Springs Art Museum, the Sheldon Memorial Art Gallery, the University of Nebraska, the Whitney Museum of American Art, amongst many others.